Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidwin.com and in this video, we will show you how to pass the safety net on your rooted pixel experience ROM. So as of now, I am running a rooted pixel ROM. Let me show you, just for the sake of reference, let me show you this. So my phone is OnePlus 70 and currently I am running the pixel experience ROM which is of the latest build number as well as you could see. So in this video, we will show you and it is rooted as well as you could see the magic is installed. And if I will show you the root checker app as well, just a minute. So let me verify the root. So root the device is rooted with the latest Android 13 pixel experience ROM. So in this video, we will show you how to pass the safety net. As of now, the safety net fails on this ROM. Let me show you that as well. For that, we are using the Yesnack app. You can download it from the Play Store. So download it and then launch it after that tap on run safety net and you could see that both the basic integrity as well as cts profile match are failing so our major objective of this video is to pass both the test after which we will be passing the safety net so guys on that note let's get started so first and foremost you will have to hide the magic app so for that launch the magic app tap on the settings icon then tap on hide hide the magic app and then enable the toggle next to allow from the source now go back then give this app any name of your choice any name apart from magisk or roots give it something random name so in my case i am naming it droidwin then tap on ok it will take a few seconds once the hiding is done it will now ask you to make a shortcut as well for the ease of convenience you could tap on ok and create a shortcut it's completely up to you once that is done, your next course of action is to enable the systemless host. For that, tap on the settings icon. Then go to systemless host. And you could see that it has been added to the module. So go back, go to modules. And make sure you see the systemless host which is enabled. If that's well and good, then go back, go to settings menu. And now you will have to enable Zygisk. So tap on the toggle, enable it. After that, you will have to restart your phone. So let me restart my phone and then I'll come back. Hi guys, so I have restarted my phone. Now that the phone has restarted, let me show you the result. In my case, I have renamed the Magisk app to Droidwin. So open it, whatever the name is in your case. And then as you could see, go to settings. Just to recall, we had hidden the Magisk app. And then we have enabled the systemless host in the modules. And after that, we had enabled Zygisk. And then restarted our phone. As you could see, Zygisk is now enabled. If that's well and good, then tap on the toggle next to enforce deny list. Now go to configure deny list and you will have to select the following apps. First is the Google Play Protect service. Next is the Google Play Store. Then is the Google Play service framework. And there is one more app which goes by the name of Google Play Protect service. So we will now enable all this four toggle. If you don't see this app here, not an issue. Tap on the overflow icon and check mark show system apps. Now go to the Google Play Protect service. Enable the toggle next to all these three so that you see the check mark. Similarly, do so for Google Play Store as well. Enable all the toggles so that it's check mark and then do so for Google Service Framework. After that, you will have to do so for Google Play Services as well. So let's search for the Google Play Service app and do so for that as well. Here's the Google Play Service, enable it and then enable all the corresponding toggles as well so that the blue bar at the top gets completely filled. So with this, we have enabled the toggles of all these four apps. And as you could see, the toggles for all these four have been enabled. Just to re-verify, go back and then again go to configure deny list. Now there is one important thing I would like to share. There is a UI bug with Google Service Framework. Even if you check mark and then go back, then it gets unchecked. But that is not an issue. It is running in the background. So that's nothing cause of worry. Once you have enabled all these four deny list after that add the app of your choice to this list for example any banking app payment app or games like pokemon go make sure to hide it as well once that is done you will now have to flash the safety net fix module so for that go to my website i've given the link in the description and then download the safety net fix from github once that is downloaded launch the magisk app just a minute launch the magisk app and then go to the module section then tap on install from storage and select the safety net fix it will now be flashed once then you will have to restart your phone 
so i will currently restart my phone and come back so guys just to recall we have now hidden the route from the four apps google play service google play store google service framework and google play product service after that we also hit the app from the app of your choice and then we had installed this safety and text module let me show you we had just installed this module as well now once you have done this you will have to delete the data of these four apps so let's proceed ahead with that task so go to settings then go to apps and now check top on the overflow icon and select show system now we will have to delete the data of the four apps the name of these apps are first of google play service so go to let's start with google play protect service then go to storage and cache and tap on clear storage then delete once that is done go back then go to google play services tap on storage and cache tap on manage space then tap on clear all data and ok once that is done again go back then select google play store go to storage and cache tap on clear storage and tap delete once that is done go back select google service framework go to storage and cache tap on clear storage and tap on delete once you have done this now delete the app data of from which you have hidden the route for example the banking and payment app of your choice as well once that is done your next course of action is to restart your device the restart is extremely important at this point in time so let's go and restart our phone now hi guys so i've just removed the app, app data of all these four apps and restarted my phone now all that is left is to check the results so let's launch the yasnac app and now tap on run safety net attestation as you could see now we have passed both these tests and so with this you could now easily use any banking and payment app of your choice on a rooted phone without any issues so what all we just did just to recall first and foremost we hit the magisk app and gave it another name of our choice after that we went to settings and enable the systemless host once we did that it added the modules in the section in this section after that we went to settings and enable zygisk and then re restarted our phone after restart we enabled the enforced denial list and then we went to configure denial list section and in this section we added the four compulsory apps which is google play service google play store google service framework and google play product service out of this four apps as you could see the google service framework gets unchecked and the google play services sometimes goes missing from here but it is just a ui bug and nothing to worry about once you have checked out all these four services after that you will have to hide the app from the app of your choice for example any banking or payment app once that is done you will have to download the universal safety and fix module the link is given in the description you can download it from there and then flash it via the magisk app once the flashing is complete you will have to restart your phone and upon restart you will have to delete the data of all those four apps as mentioned before which are the google play service play store service framework and play product service after that delete the data of the app of your choice as well which is any banking or payment app and finally restart your phone once you restart your phone you will now see the result as basic basic and cts profile are both passing so guys on that note we round off this video on how you could pass safety net on the rooted pixel experience rom if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and if you want this video on any other rom please let me know the name of the rom i will carry out the steps on that rom as well and share the results with you so with that we round off this video and guys please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks thanks for watching